guess I want to use that curve. I guess I want to use that curve. And I guess I really could just hit enter. But, right, so 11.2 is the X and 12.5. So they intersect at 11.2, 12.5. Okay, so we're all, we're going to go up to eleven point two. So find the area between the curves. I think I'm going to treat that as just two separate problems. So um, the hair is the one that's higher, so it's sixteen sine of point two t. And we're going from 0 to 11.2. And then we're subtracting 0.1t squared, the area beneath that. I mean, you could write the problem as one integral sign with those two subtracted. It, it's accurate to write it that way. But in terms of our discussion, I think it works a little better to think about, well, first I'm finding the, the distance the hair moved, and then I'm finding the distance that the tortoise moved. And then you're subtracting. All right, so I'm trying to find an antiderivative. So that means I'm trying to find a function whose derivative would equal sine. And so that would be negative, negative cosine. cosine. And remember, constant multiples just get carried along. And then think about if you were taking the derivative of this, you would get negative times negative 16 sine of 0.2t. But then if I were taking the derivative, I would do the chain rule and I would multiply by 0.2. Two. I would multiply by 0.2. So my antiderivative needs to have me do divide what with the 0.2? Divide. divide by the 0.2. Okay, and why don't we kind of clean that up? Let's see, 16 Eight. divided by 0.2 is the same as 8. Multiplying by 10 over 2, because this mm -hmm. is 2 tenths, so it, I have 80. Okay, so minus 80 cosine of 0.2t. And technically, it's any antiderivative, so you could put a plus constant, but the plus constant is going to cancel out. Right. Again, checking my antiderivative before I go much further. The derivative of what I think is the antiderivative needs to equal what I started with. So negative 80 times sine of 0.2t times another negative, and then times 0.2. Okay, the derivative of cosine is negative sine. The negative 80 would just get carried along. The chain rule would tell me to multiply by 0.2. So what is 0.2 times 80? 16. It is 16. So I get 16, the two negatives cancel to make it positive, and I get back what I started with. If I did that same problem using u substitution, my outside function is 16 times sine. My inside function is 0.2t. Um, so I call the inside function u, and then du would be 0.2. So du dt would be 0.2, so du is 0.2 dt, so du divided by 0.2 is your dt, and if I then substitute, I would have 16 times sine of u, and the dt would get replaced with du over 0.2. 
So 16 divided by 22 would get multiplied by a negative cosine of u. And we said this was 80. And I started off with u's and not u. So notice I get the same thing. Let everybody absorb all of that. 